Police have an urgent reminder for parents. Following the death of a baby they say was left in a hot car, five-month-old Holland Judy was rushed to the hospital on Saturday after being found in a car outside a Lexington home. She died yesterday. As police continue to investigate, they say people need to take action to make sure this doesn't happen again. As Tamara Evans tells us, it doesn't take long for a car's indoor temperature to reach dangerous levels. It's a call that's never easy for first responders and police. It's always tragic when it involves a, a, a very small child like this. Children being left in cars. On Saturday, police would respond to this home on Candlelight Way. A child that had been left unattended in a car and then had a heat-related injury. That five-month-old, Holland Judy, would later pass away at the hospital. As police investigate the incident, it left us asking, how hot does it get inside a car? Well, we all know that it gets extremely hot in the summer time so we want to put that heat to the test. We have these two thermometers. This one is going to go on the inside of this car right here with the door shut and the windows up and this one is going to go on the outside so we can see just how hot it gets in this car throughout the day. Now right now it's a little over 95 degrees on these thermometers. We're going to keep checking in with this car over the next few hours. In just 10 minutes, the temperature jumped 10 degrees inside the car. Outside, it stayed the same. Half an hour later, it was 120 degrees in the car and only 100 degrees outside. That's consistent with the uh, most uh, scientific testing that's been done. Uh, after about uh, 20 minutes, uh, the temperature can go up as much as 30 degrees in a locked car with the windows up. That's why they say it's important to find a way to remind yourself your child is in the car, whether that be reminders at work or in your car. Put your purse or wallet or cell phone in the back seat. Just another thing that you think about that, that might help remind you to check the back seat. One of the many ways to keep your kids safe during those summer months. In Lexington, Tamara Evans, WKYT 27 News First. Now, Lexington police say in regards to this case, there have been no charges at this time.